The human remains found last week at Adams Run were determined to be those of Lewis Cadden. The bones were found behind a home after sheriff deputies received a tip about a possible body being hidden on the property. Today, News 2's Natalie Price spoke to Cadden's family. They told her about Lewis and about the people charged in connection to his murder. He was a, a very loving and caring person. He trusted way too easily. And I've told him so many times before, you can't just trust anybody. The remains of 31-year-old Lewis Cadden were found on March 15th in Adams Run behind a home he'd shared with people he took in. Patrick Gregory, Sarah Kelly, Ralph McClinney, Sarah Giggleman, and Brian Edwards are now behind bars. Gregory for murder, the rest for accessory after the fact because they helped burn Cadden's body for days. Lewis had an accident where he was on a job site and an air compressor blew up and they put a surgical steel plate in his head and it had serial numbers on it. They burned that fire so hot that when they tried to ID Lewis by using the surgical steel, it had literally burnt the serial numbers off of the plate. The family is pushing for all five people involved to be charged with murder. All of them knew. All of them had a part in cleaning up my brother's blood, his body, and you know, moving it to a different location and putting it, you know, on a fire to be burnt, like as if he was not a human being and he didn't matter. It's not. It's not a cut and dry, just desecration of a body. It's, you know, it's a, they took part basically. It could have been any one of them that killed him. Who's to say Lewis was even dead when they did what they did to him? Brian Edwards even tried to comfort Lewis's family before his involvement came to light. The audacity to try and contact the family to try to give them some kind of closure. He, he, that's a narcissistic sociopath. Somebody like that does not belong in society. Lewis's family wants everyone to know he was very loved and they won't stop fighting. I'll never be able to, you know, to, to talk to him again, to hear his voice, to, you know, I'll never be able to call him again and I'll never be able to fuss at him again, you know, and tell him these things because it's too late. He's gone. The sheriff's office says they are still looking for more witnesses. Reporting in studio, Natalie Price, count on two.